And I'm Julie Hayner. The 38-year-old is a winery owner and a rising political figure. KTVU's Deborah Villalone joins us now live after speaking with one of his accusers, Deb. Julie, four women say Fapoli sexually assaulted them in separate incidents over a 16-year span, ranging from before he was in public office to two years ago while he was mayor. This is the part here of the assault. Sophia Williams is a midwife, married mother of two, who took part in a multi-year probe by the San Francisco Chronicle into sexual misconduct by Windsor Mayor Dominic Fapoli. When he put his finger down my pants, I realized that I didn't want to stick around for what was next. Williams first talked about what happened during the Me Too movement. Without naming him, she described at 21 going out with Fapoli and other friends, drinking after class, then sharing cab rides home, but unexpectedly ending up at his house, where Fapoli said they would sleep it off separately, but allegedly assaulted her. I just kept saying, no, no, Dominic, and he kept trying and like rubbing himself against me, and I was kind of against the wall in his bed. Williams says she locked herself in a bathroom and fled hours later when a friend could pick her up. This was 2006. Williams didn't report it. I don't know what I would have done if it had, if like I hadn't gotten away, if it had been worse than that. I don't know. We've got our entire town leadership and staff set up. By 2019, Fapoli was Windsor mayor after being its youngest council member. And the same year, a 21-year-old intern alleges he sexually assaulted her after a winery party. Two other women, a colleague from a civic club and a teenage campaign volunteer also described Fapoli isolating and attacking them while drinking. I will say he was known as a partier. Um, you know, he was definitely an extrovert. He enjoyed socializing. Elected officials are expressing shock and outrage toward a man they have worked with for years. It's just hard to imagine that you would have a sexual predator at work in your community in a leadership position. Supervisors and the mayors of all eight cities in Sonoma County are unanimous, he must resign. The fact that it was multiple women over a period of years, the fact that their stories were corroborated, to me, all demonstrates credibility to their stories. Residents of Windsor rallied downtown with the same demand. I'm terrified to be in any proximity of Dominic Lopoli and the fact that He's a leader of our community. He does not represent Windsor and what we value. We've been trying to warn the council for some time about this gentleman. A lot of women in the community have been. When you think you're the only one it's happened to, it's your word against theirs. Williams understands how shame has kept women silent, especially as Fapoli became more prominent. But she believes there are even more survivors. I'm hoping that there's strength in numbers and that more women will come forward um, now that it is public. Both the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department and District Attorney have opened investigations. Fapoli's attorney has said he categorically denies the allegations. Julie, he has not responded to our request for comment. Deborah Villalone reporting live tonight. Deborah, thank you. We